Hi, it's Jeff here from discoverdoublebass.com. That's the home of online double bass lessons. So if you'd like more like this one, go and check that website out after this video. Now today I'm gonna to be telling you how to transition between pizzicato and arco whilst using the German bow. So let's get into that now. Well, when I'm performing and I'm not using the bow for longer periods of time, the bow just lives in either my quiver or sometimes on my music stand. But the two techniques that we're discussing today show you how to transition um, quickly between the two. So the piece of music will have both pizzicato and arco, and you're not gonna be wanting to mess around putting the bow down. So let's look at these two. The first one is if you're transitioning more quickly between pizzicato and arco, and this is to simply turn the hand and pluck the string with your first finger. So it's great, you don't really need to do very much here. So when you've got little passages like that that require switching between pizzicato and arco, you, you're able to do so easily. I'd also recommend that you practice up bowing, pizzicato, down bowing and pizzicato as well. And essentially that's a really sort of simple method to do it, but it gets a bit tiring. If you're playing longer um, passages of pizzicato, it gets a bit tiring holding the bow this way. So in those, for those instances, I drop the bow like this towards the floor, and then it's, I can play pizzicato really comfortably. And what I'm doing here is I'm allowing the little finger to fall through the fog. By the way, this method was taught to me by Georgi Sinsiewski, who's a wonderful teacher um, and bass player, and I'll provide a link uh, below the video. I'd like to give him a bit of recognition for this. I remember him teaching me this method, and it's really useful. The little finger falls through the fog, basically stopping it hit, falling towards the floor, and you're just controlling it with your thumb as well as you move. So the fog drops, or the bow drops, and the, fit, the little finger moves through the gap in the fog there. And what you can do is you can, you can put your bass down and you can practice doing this and just get comfortable because what you don't want to do, of course, is to do this motion because it's quite pronounced and then accidentally, you know, hit the bow or, or sorry, hit the bass. So just spend some time and you can really feel the weight of the bow as you're doing this and keep in contact with it. Um, be careful not to drop it, of course. Uh, and that's a really te um, fantastic technique and it will help you play for longer periods of time. So there's two methods there and each one should be looked at and studied carefully and you'll be able to transition between pizzicato and an arco um, easily. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have and you'd like more lessons on the German bow, uh, I do 30 minutes of introductory lessons as part of my beginner's course. Um, there's also a French bow technique course by Lauren Pierce that's exclusively available on discoverablebass.com, um, as well as a whole bunch of free lessons as well. So if you wanna keep practicing, go and check those out uh, and I'll see you in the next video.